this is going to do. Internet is trying to act up, and I hope this issue can be resolved really quick. So we're going to see what it does in the next few minutes. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So happy Thursday to you all. I hope you all have had a awesome week. So, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy day. And I am officially sitting down to do some crocheting. My youngest daughter had doctor's appointments today. Um, we had one at 9 o'clock. Then we had one at 1.15 or so um i picked my oldest daughter up from school because i didn't know what time i was gonna be getting back home and yeah so i am here i just got finished doing a live on tiktok and i decided to go live here and work on a whip with you all so if you have a whip or if you just want to sit back watch me crochet you're more than welcome to stay make sure you guys hit that subscribe button um hello hello hit the thumbs up and if you want feel free to share with your crafty community it is good to see you. Yes, it is time to relax <laughs> and get some work in on my project here. Um, this is for my patchwork cardigan slash pants that I am considering um or making so i haven't made any of these squares in a while and so that's what i'm doing today is working on these squares um since i've been home i have made three yeah i've made three so far so I made these three since I've been back home and um, starting this one so yeah um, so Ivy are you working on anything and let's see let me see if I can pull my live up real quick If you are working on anything right now, or if you're watching a replay and working on something, please feel free to let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'm going to try to get as much crocheting in as I can today because tomorrow I'll return back to work. Um, but I do have the weekend off. So I'm not sure how the weekend is going to go for me because every time I say I'm going to stay home and just have a weekend to crochet, I end up doing extra stuff um, that is not crafty or, you know, that's non-crochet or knitting stuff. Um, or either, you know, I'm, I end up having a lazy day and just want to, you know, relax, depending on how I feel. See, not really finished anything else. Mosaic Afghan. And now, oh, okay. How long did it take you to do the, um, Afghan? And take a break if you need to. 
<laughs> yes, definitely take a break if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I took some time yesterday, however, um, and I made a couple of videos that I actually need to put up uh, or upload. Um, so that will either get done tonight. I'll try to upload at least one of them tonight. Um, I just tried to do some pre-recording. I have one more video that I need to record. And um, I think that'll be it for now um, until maybe next week until I figure out what else I might want to record. Um, about 20 hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You might need to take a little bit, bit of a break and kind of breathe probably after that. A 45 by 56. Wow. I know it came out good though. I know it's beautiful. I have a single crochet blanket that I started um, years ago, but I haven't worked on it. I'm not even sure if I will even finish it because with loops and threads, I've noticed that they've changed their yarn a little bit. And I don't even know if they make the same color um anymore or how the yarn is gonna be um because i feel like it splits too much uh one second and i will be right back i promise i'm not going too far i just need to check on my daughter here Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. My youngest daughter, she just woke up. Um, and when she wakes up, she tends to have seizures. So if you guys ever see me leave or if I have to excuse myself, that's why. Um, because I have to swipe her VNS magnet, which is treatment for her seizures. Um, of course, along with four or five different medications that she's on. So... It's not that I'm trying to intentionally just walk away from the camera, but in the future, if you guys hear me, like I said, just excuse myself, or if I just get up and walk off, I'm tending to my daughter here, because she's a special needs kid, and I usually keep her, like, where I can hear her. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, yeah, um, if you have not seen me um, talk about this particular project that I'm working on or um, heard me mentioning this particular project, I'm making um, all these squares with scrap yarn, yarn that I don't have like any plans for or 
yarn that I just haven't used. I'm um, making all these squares. I'm just picking up whatever color. Whatever color I pick up, that's what I make. I make as many squares as I feel like I want to make or until I, you know, run out um, of enough yarn to complete a full square. And then I'll just, whatever is left from the ball or if I have a small cake of it, I just... Um, I just put it to the side because what I have also been doing is I've been making these little scrap cakes of yarn as well. So that's what I've been doing. And then I'll probably end up making a project with those or with yeah whatever cakes I have I think I put away I haven't made any in a little while either so I think in all I think I've made about six probably about six of those um all just random skeins um not random skeins but random scrap balls of yarn But yeah, um, for those of you who are watching, please feel free to make sure you have hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate that. That will help me out a little bit here. If you're able to. I know some people, depending on what device or whatnot that they're watching from, they're not able to hit the like. But if you are able to hit the like or the thumbs up button, please feel free to do that. So tonight, um, at some point tonight, I'm going to gather all of my squares and just count them up so I can have a count of how many squares I have. Um, I'm probably going to, I think my next color, I think I'm going to make a few more black ones. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Um, I don't really have, I have a few white ones, but um, I don't know if I'm going to be making any extras. So I'm going to do as many of these red ones, and then I'll do the black next. But yeah, I can't wait for you all to see my next um, see my next video upload. And excuse me, one second. Okay. All right. I 
again, I apologize. But yeah, I can't wait until you all see the um, uploads that I have or the videos that I'm going to be uploading. Um, it's been a while since I've actually like recorded a video <laughs> to upload. Um, Oh, why? Why do you think you'll trip and knock everything down? I'm used to some of my daughter's sounds, so I know what may sound different or seem like a true emergency to others. Um, some things I'm not too, too worried about because I have a true understanding of what is actually going on and what is her normal. So I'm not too, too worried or too stressed. about what is actually going on unless she really needs true medical attention. And that's one thing about being a special needs parent. Everybody's journey, everybody's story is different. Everybody's Life is different, different diagnoses and all of that stuff, but this is normal, normal for us. So I think I have a pretty good handle on everything and what's going on. But it does get stressful though and overwhelming. But I just take it one day at a time, breathe, and try not to get so antsy and anxious about certain things. But yeah, but. Anyways, how has everyone's weather been? How has everyone been handling um, these warmer temperatures? I mean, it hasn't been too hot. I think today, um, today's high was what, I think an 80 or so. But it's been like gradually, like it went from like 75 to like a 78 degree day the next day. And then today has been in the 80s or right at 80.
Yeah, I'm looking forward to some warmer weather, though, because that'll mean hopefully, hopefully, I'm not going to speak too soon, but hopefully, um, that'll mean less pain, less pain, and yeah, just warmth all together. <laughs> I'm just sharing my live out really quick. There's a 90% tornado. Okay, yeah. I've gotten some notifications um, that some people were going to be having some bad weather. But I hope all will be well and then everyone will be safe. It was either supposed to snow, not snow, but uh, rain either tonight into the morning or sometime tomorrow. And it had like um, thunder or lightning storms, but I'm not for sure if that is still going to happen. Um, I thought I was going to do something this evening, but... It didn't do anything yet. Hello, Lydia. How are you? What are you working on today? I think we had rain um last week or week before last i think we had some rain yeah it was last week um last saturday to be exact we had i think it rained probably about 50 to 75 percent of the day um and it was like heavy heavy rain so I was at work. I'm glad I didn't really have to drive in the heaviest part of it. But I'm going to tell you, I was ready to get home. When I did leave work, I was ready to get home because I don't like driving in the rain. I can drive in it, but I don't like driving when other drivers are just being reckless and not paying attention. And you know when they teach you you know, in driver's ed, that you are supposed to drive like a certain, you know, speed limit under the regular speed when it's raining, they don't do it. <laughs> yep. They don't do it along with no signal lights or anything just weaving in and out of traffic like it's nothing hello hello the crochet queen welcome in let's see lydia says working on my blanket okay no problem i try to support everybody as much as I can, when I can. I know sometimes it's hard to juggle that when you follow so many people, but I always, always try to support everybody. 
Uh oh, I forgot my yarn. Tangled here. Yep. Hi, Alexis. From Switzerland. Okay, well, welcome. Do you do any crafts or hobbies, Alexis? But I think that was my first time in your live, um, the crochet queen. I think. Don't quote me. <laughs> Okay, what do you like to crochet? Or you like parachuting, okay. It sounds fun, but I don't know if I would ever do it. So yeah, if you're just coming in, I'm working on some squares for the patchwork um, project that I have in mind. It's going to be a cardigan, and if I have extras, I'm going to be making um, some pants, probably. I've never made a patchwork project, um, let alone... I've never done one um, with the cardigan or with pants. Um, she's not married. That feels my life. Okay, yeah. As long as you have fun, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And it makes you happy. So yeah, so far, um, if I took a guess, I probably have about 20 to 25 um, squares so far, but I'm going to count them just to be sure on how many I actually have, but I'm just taking a guess right now because I know I've taken, I've made a lot, but I haven't really counted them, I don't think. So yeah, whatever yarn I pick up out of my scrap yarn bin or tote, that's the yarn that I'm going to be working on. And I'm making as many squares as I can. And these are basic um, half double crochet squares.
Oh, the other day, um, I started another blanket. And it's with the Karen One Pound Yarn that I did this. Um, uh, it's the same yarn that I made this waffle. Yeah. Made this waffle um, arcade stitch blanket with and um the one i started is basically just going to be a um granny square just a basic granny square and um I was thinking about maybe mixing some other colors, but I'm not sure what other color I'm going to mix in it. I thought about doing um, this light brown color because it's a cream colored yarn. And then I have another yarn that is, is light brown, gray, and like a beige or cream color mixed in it. But the only thing is, I don't know if I'll have enough of that particular yarn because I want to say that yarn was, a, it was from a small skein, like one of those 50 gram um, skeins of yarn that I purchased. I think I got it from Big Lots years ago when they were selling yarn and i haven't gone to big lots in forever so i don't know like as far as craft supplies what big lots may or may not be selling um at this moment but it'll probably be um worth a trip maybe going in there and seeing what they may have I didn't have to put glue. It came out the camera. What's wrong with you? Take it off. Because yesterday, day before yesterday, why? It's the morning refrigerator. Wow. It's in a pink bowl. You got foil on the top or? Hi, Samantha. How are you? How it tastes? You want to eat your phone? You want crackers or bread? How do I know you ask it? Come on, turn your sister's feet and pump off for me, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'll get you the crackers in just a few minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. it turn it off. Thank you. Samantha, how are you doing? And what are you working on today? Can you go elsewhere, please? I will get your stuff shortly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I get ready to join these squares, I think I'm going to use um, black yarn to join them. Mm -hmm. 
but I haven't decided if I'm going to just sew them or if I'm going to do a um, slip stitch or single crochet method. That part I have not figured out yet. But I know I'm going to be using black yarn. Excuse me one second. And please be careful. Do not make a mess, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye. So Lydia, how much further do you have to go in your blanket? Are you almost finished with it? Oh, you guys, so another thing that's kind of been taking up my time um, that I started doing maybe I think over the weekend is not that I haven't done it before, but I like to read. So I've been trying to get back into reading in general for a good little while. So I have a lot of books that I have not read. And um, I'm pretty much at this point collecting um, books. Um, let's see. I am not a pig and you will not be oinking at me. So let's do this here. And we're going to say goodbye. So David,
So, um, yeah, I've been trying to get back into reading. And what I have been reading more so is I've been reading my Bible a lot more. Um, and I've been taking notes. Like, I have a whole separate notebook and everything. I have two different Bibles. Um, one is like a woman's study Bible that I think I purchased a few years ago. And then the other one, I forget what type. I think it's just a standard basic Bible. Um, but yeah, the scriptures are same context, same, you know, I get the same understanding, but the words are written a little differently in each of those, but um, so far, I think I am on like the sixth chapter of Genesis, so I'm actually going to try to read the Bible from front two back i know some people have you know they do reading challenges or whatnot and they may start in revelation or somewhere like matthew or luke or something and it's just random chapters of the bible um that they may choose to read from but i however i'm going to be reading the bible from front to back um and I'm just taking notes on each chapter as I go along. Sorry, my eyes itching. And so that's kind of what I've um, been getting into. And I try to read um, at least a whole chapter a day if I can. But I've been doing pretty good this week with it. I haven't um, skipped any days without reading hello hello welcome in how are you doing And I don't know what it is, but reading the Bible now as an adult is so much different than when I was a child. Like, because I guess because I really didn't like to read as much when I was younger. But it's like now reading or finishing the Bible is like one of my go-tos or one of my goals um, that I have in life just got off work okay well i hope you had a good work day and i hope you're able to kind of relax and wind down for the rest of the evening i didn't have work today today was um, appointment day for my youngest daughter. So we were busy handling doctor's appointments today. But that took a lot of my energy. Um, so let's see. We left out at 8.30 this morning. Got back home about 10.15, 10.30. Left out again at 11.30. Um... I had to have her at her doctor. I picked her older sister up around 12. Um, and then I had to have her at the doctor, my youngest at the doctor, by 1.15 today. And then we got back about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Stopped at McDonald's, got, you know, some food. Um... So yeah, today's just it's it's been a good day, but it's been a little busy. And then tomorrow I go back to work, so 
I'm ready to get those hours. I don't want to rush my way, but I'm ready to get those hours over and done with. Yeah. Yep. So, what have you been working on, Denise, in your spare time? I'm surprised my oldest daughter had a whole lot okay my oldest daughter just came in here and got some tuna salad that I made probably about two days ago I have onions in it and I'm surprised she has not bought it back yet. So I'm curious to see what or how much she is actually eating. So I think she left a little bit in the bowl. Because usually she'll try to be picky about stuff like that. Um, and even like with mustard and ketchup. She try to be picky about that. She don't like it on her hamburger or her hot dogs. Some squares and that is probably it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm making some half double crochet squares. I have a bunch more in the back. But these are all the ones I've made. Um, well, I had two of them already made. And then, um, let's see, one, two, three. So, yeah. It was either two or three of them that I already had made. And this one I already had on my hook. I just needed to finish it. So, I've, I've made about three or four more. Uh, maybe five. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I've probably made about five or so. Since I've been back home. Hello, hello. Miss Jeanette, welcome in. How are you today? And how is life treating you? And Jeanette is saying hello to everyone in the chat. Yeah, I'm trying to make as many um, of these squares as I can before I go to bed tonight because I honestly, for the last two to three weeks, I don't think I've worked on this particular project for a little while. I'm doing good. Life is great. How about you? I'm doing good. Can't complain. I'm just sitting here relaxing, taking a breather, and trying to work on this um, patchwork project that I have in mind. Wow. We're making the squares for it at least. Oh, Jeanette, I made your um, ruffle hat pattern a couple days ago, and I used this um, Red Heart with Love yarn. So I can't wait to show it. Um, so that's another video I have to, yeah, I have to upload that one, well, record it, because I don't think I got a video of that, but... I finished the hat and I gotta take pictures and all that good stuff. I 
I've made so many different variations of the ruffle hat. Um, and I've had fun making all of them, even the little um, wavy brim one that I've made. I think I ended up making a little baby one too, um, but it was more of a wavy brim because I was going off of a pattern that another pattern that I found. Instead of the ruffles being so ruffly, it was more of a wave. So I had fun making all of them. And I probably need to buckle down and probably make a few more in some other colors that I have. How'd you like it? You sure? Mm -hmm. Cover it up. I like your children, and I know the um, carrots. They want carrots. They want carrots. But what do you mean? I it's taste onions. Yeah, I taste onions. <laughs> it was spicy. It was. You must got a whole lot of them. <laughs> Did you leave some in the bowl? Did you cover the bowl up? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put this in for a bottle. All right. I'll be done in a few minutes, okay? At what time? I don't know. Just a few more minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, I guess my tuna salad tasted okay. I don't make tuna salad often, but I had some in my cabinet, um, some tuna. And I wanted to go ahead and use it before it messed up. I think I have like, I used a big can, but I have like three small cans left. I think the next one, I'm going to add a few more things to it. Um... Probably do like some eggs, some onions. Um, I didn't add relish in this one this time. I usually do, but I think the next time, I, if I don't forget, I'll add my relish. And I put um, mayo salt, pepper, I think I put some onion powder, garlic powder, um, some parsley, and I used, I think some um, Dijon mustard instead of regular mustard this time. Have I been up to questioning lately? Oh yeah, I understand, I understand because Yesterday was my first day back into crocheting. I could not pull it together this week. I could not. So your body probably just, you know, you probably just need a mental break from it, a physical break from it as well, you know, because you're using your hands. So take your break. Regroup. And start all over again. It may take a few days, but you'll get back into it. And one thing for sure, like, I try not to beat myself up. If I go days without crocheting, yes, I can feel it. Like, it feels different. It feels weird. But I try not to beat myself up about it either because I don't know this yarn and this these crochet hooks and stuff they're not going anywhere you know and I know it's um it's well I don't know about anybody else but I know for me it takes place of other things that I really need to be doing so um if I have to take a break, you know, like I said, I try not to beat myself up about it or anything. 
And I just try to focus on the stuff that I actually need to be focusing on too. Sorry about that. My throat is screeching. So I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm almost finished with this one here. Yep, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, yes. So yep, I'm going to go ahead and end my live here. I'm going check on my littlest one and see what the other kid is doing so i know she's waiting for me to get off this <laughs> phone and get off this live but yeah i appreciate you guys for coming in and hanging out with me thank you all for the thumbs up And I will chat with you guys later.